Evan walks home from school slowly today. Something was bothering him, but he didn't quite know. bird has its own cage, Evan thought. I want a place of my own. Flower has its own pot. Wish I had a place of my own. Paper man has his own stand, he thought. And I, me, myself, I need a place of my own. As Evan neared the two-room apartment that he and his family shared, he looked forward to having the place to himself for a while. Soon his three sisters and two brothers would come home, then his mother and then his father. A mighty lot of family, Evan thought. And no place to call just mine. Usually, Evan was the first one home. He had his own key. But today... Surprise! Evan's mother had left work early and arrived home before him. He liked it when she got home ahead of him. Now they could have a private talk before his brothers and sisters came in. Mama, you know what I've been wishing for hard, Evan burst out. Tell me, his mother smiled. Evan told her the canary bird had a cage. He told her the flower had a pot. And he told her that the paper man had a newsstand. He ended, and I want a place of my own. Why, of course, Evan's mother said. It will work out just right. There are eight of us. That means each one of us has our own corner. Can I choose mine? Go ahead, she said. You have first choice. Evan looked at every corner in both rooms. One corner had a pretty edge of rug. One had an interesting crack in the wall. And some had nothing much. But the one Evan liked best, the one he wanted for his own, had a nice large window and a bit of polished floor. This is mine. This is my corner. Evan's mother had no kitchen. She shared the kitchen down the hall with another lady. Often, Evan went with her to keep her company while she fixed supper. But that night, he paid no attention to the rest of the family. He sat alone and content on the floor in his corner. Stew's on the table. You ready to eat with us, Evan? Please, Pa. If I bring my plate here, can I eat by myself? Why, sure. Hurry up in there. Dinner is getting cold. Coming up. Evan, why do you want a corner of your own? I want a chance to be lonely. Adam? Here, dear. 
uh, pass this down to your father. Pass this all, please. I saw Mr. Davis down at Regan's this afternoon. Oh, how is he? He put on a little weight. Did he have anything to say? He said hello. Wasting time in my own way, in my own corner. Could I ever come in your corner? Why don't you choose a corner of your own? Okay, cowboy, jump on. Okay, kids, come on. In bed now. Bedtime, everyone. Come on out of your corner, sleepyhead. It's time for bed. Yes, Papa. Evan went to bed that night very contented. Now he had a corner all his own. The next morning, Evan went back to his corner. The window was still fun to look through. The bit of polished floor shined as brightly as ever. But Evan felt that his corner needed something more. What could it be? I know what I need, he thought suddenly. A picture. And he thought as he rushed off to school, I'll do it myself. I'm going to hang this in a place of my own. That will be lovely, Evan. Evan was proud of his picture. He showed it to the canary. In fact, he was so proud of it, he almost showed it to the flower. That would be silly, he thought. Flowers can't see. Then he thought of someone who would really appreciate it. Guess what, Master? What's that, my boy? I'm going to hang this picture in a place that's just mine. That's a nice boat, Evan. Do you think I can draw a picture for my corner? Sure you could. Are you being lonely, Evan? No. Are you wasting time in your own way? No. Well, then, what are you doing? Enjoying peace and quiet. That night, Evan did not sleep well. He lay awake in bed, thinking about his corner. It had a nice window and a nice floor, and now it had a nice picture. But was that enough? No, he decided finally. I need something more. But what? He remembered the pink flower in its pot. That's it, he thought. I need a plant of my own in my own corner.
What are you doing, Evan? Watching my plant grow. Maybe I'll have a plant too, someday. But Evan didn't answer. Something was bothering him. Even now, his corner seemed not quite perfect. What was missing? I need some furniture. Evan wondered why he hadn't thought of that before. Evan went to Mian's grocery store and asked for two orange crates. What do you want them for, Mr. Mian asked. Gonna make me some furniture, Evan said proudly, to put in a place of my own. Evan thanked Mr. Meehan for the crates and hurried home. In his corner, Evan put one crate on end like a desk. He turned the other one upside down to make a bench. Surely now he had all he could wish for. And yet, how come he still felt like something was missing? I know. I need a pet to take care of. A pet of my own, in my own corner. Just then, the turtle winked at him, as though it knew a secret. Please, mister, kill a drought for me. I would sure like to earn enough money to buy a turtle. Sorry, son. I don't need help. Try next door. Sir, do you have a job for me? Oh, no. My son is helping me. Try Crestwood Street. Evan crossed the street. He marched from store to store, asking for work. Everywhere it was the same. He had no luck. Evan arrived in front of a supermarket. Hey, he thought. Maybe some lady would pay me to carry her packages. Carry your bag, lady. Carry your bags, ma'am. They look mighty heavy. That would be a big help. A dime. He had a dime. Now all he needed was four more. He waited. He smiled. And he spoke politely. Lots of ladies went by. But none of them wanted him to carry their bag. Just as Evan began to feel that he would never make another cent, Oh, good. I hate 
fucking bundle. Thank you. Only three more to go, he thought happily. But it was late now, and time to be home for dinner. On Sunday, the market was closed, but Evan went there right after school on Monday. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. Turtle, you're almost mine. Thank you. Hey, let's try to earn some money. I'd like to buy a turtle. No lights on. Choose one. This one. Evan carried the turtle home in a small bowl. He set it on top of the upturned orange crate. Adam was already home from daycare center. What you got now, Evan? My own pet, to take care of in my own corner. Adam wanted to see it closer, but he knew. He wasn't allowed in Evan's corner. Evan? Evan, do you think I can have a pet of my own? Sure, when you're much, much older. Now Evan had many things. He had a place of his own. He could be lonely there. He could waste time if he liked. He could enjoy peace and quiet. Best of all, he had a pet of his own to love and take care of. Evan spent most of his spare time in his corner. But it was strange. He just wasn't happy. I must need something more, Evan thought. But what?
Mama, I'm gonna have you in my corner. Oh? What do I need now? Evan, maybe you should leave your corner for a while. Just fixing up your own corner isn't enough. Maybe you need to step out now and help somebody else. Are you enjoying peace and quiet? Mm, no. What are you doing? I'm planning to borrow Lucy's crayons. Why? To help you make a picture if you want to. So we can make your corn the best, the nicest, most wonderful corn in the whole world. <laughs>